Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 4.0 dev blog number two, the second dev blog that we've gotten in regards to the development of Unturned 4.0. Last week was our first post showing us the first footage of Unturned 4.0, specifically gunplay, showing us how they look, how they sound, and how the animations work. And today we go into a little bit more depth, not only showing the guns, but also character movement, clothing, physics, attachments, animations, all that good stuff all of that we will see in today's post and it is really exciting if you guys haven't seen last week's dev blog post i'd highly recommend checking it out to get you up to speed in regards to untered 4.0 the link to that will be in the description down below and in the top right corner of your screen right now in regards to today's post nelson once again wants to let you guys know that all of these assets that you are about to see are placeholder and or work in progress and nothing is off the table for improvement you will see some obvious glitches and weird UI why things that will be polished as time goes on. Keep that in mind when sharing your feedback and suggestions in the comment section down below. Now in today's post, Nelson says that showing rather than telling went over well in the last post, so he just gives us this very cool video that shows us some more of Unturned 4 Panel. And there you have it, so much stuff to go over and so many new things in today's post there. This is looking awesome. Now, same as last week, I'm gonna play this video in slow motion so that we can look at everything in closer detail to notice some of the new things in Unturned 4.0 compared to Unturned 3.0. The first thing I think all of us can notice is that there are physics on the clothes. In this instance, it's very exaggeratingly showing that the hoodie strings have physics on them and move around when Nelson strafes back and forth. Now, obviously this is over the top, but the purpose of this is to show that that is possible currently. So with things like trench coats or capes or even backpacks, those will be able to shift around as you're moving to show an extra level of detail. Also zooming in on the character here, we now have layered clothing. Nelson is currently wearing a red hoodie over a white shirt that we saw in last week's post. He's also wearing gloves and shoes and pants, and there's going to be all kinds of things that you can stack on top of each other to customize your character even more. If you want to wear a white hoodie on a black shirt or a trench coat over a ballistics vest or work boots with shorts, whatever you want to do, you'll be able to layer it, and that's pretty exciting. After a short while, Nelson equips the gun that we saw from last week using this placeholder inventory system, and we get to see our first attachment, which is a holographic sight, and we will get to see some of the improvements that have been made to that in a little bit. As of now, a small little thing to take note of, last week when Nelson was showing the new free-looking mode, the crosshair was constantly at the middle of your screen, and that's a little weird. One fix to that is just to disable the crosshair when you're in free-look mode. Nelson has a cool little solution here that's better than both of those, and that is maintaining the crosshair here's true location even when in free looking modes. You'll notice that he is panning the camera around the character, but the cross here is always where the bullets will land. This allows you to aim in free mode, which is pretty cool. Some further improvements in regards to animations in Unturned 4.0 compared to 3.0 includes animations for when you're aiming in third person. You'll notice that uh, your character will tilt his head to look into the sight. And also there's recoil when he's shooting. You can see that that gun is actually generating quite some kickback. You can see it really pressing into the shoulder of the character. It's pretty sweet. 
Moving forward from here, we get to see some first person gameplay and check out the additional level of detail on the gun. I think this is a perfect sweet spot for Unturned. It still has that low poly simplistic look, though it still does have detail like we can see those screws and the dials and things like that on the gun and the holographic sight. It is pretty sweet looking. Now it may look out of place here, but he is in a very simplistic environment. Imagine it with buildings and trees and terrain with a matching level of detail and artistic style. I think it's going to look really cool. Cool. Now here in Unturned 4.0, the view bombing has been improved massively. The gun moves around in a much more realistic manner compared to Unturned 3.0 because of the way the view model is handled. Instead of Unturned 3.0 with a conventional view model setup, Unturned 4.0 actually mounts your camera to the face of your character and that's how you're able to see first person shadows. It's overall super cool. We'll be able to see some other things that this enables in a little bit. Also with the holographic sight, it is actually behaving as a realistic holographic sight here. You may notice in Unturned 3.0, it's actually like, it almost looks like there's a painted dot on a piece of glass. It's very weird, and if you've ever actually used a holographic sight in real life, you know that that's not what it looks like. It's, it's projecting a laser onto a piece of glass, and you have to be looking at it from the right angle in order to see the dot. Uh, and now in Unturned 4.0, that is working properly as it would in real life. You can see in slow motion that that dot um, is... I mean, it's kind of hard to explain. It's it's working as it should, is what, I, is what I'm trying to say here. Also, back onto the topics of Unturned 4.0's view model improvements and having the camera actually mounted onto the face of your character, this also means that your gun can, like, go into a wall, which would be a little strange. So Nelson's solution to that, lift the gun up when you do come up close to a wall, just like in Battlefield or something like that. Overall, super cool looking to see some more animations like that in Unturned 4.0. Another thing that we get to see when you are switching Switching the firing mode of your gun from semi-automatic to fully automatic or whatever, you can actually see the switch on the gun move as you do that. Very cool. He's also using the free looking mode to look down at his gun as he changes the firing mode. Pretty sweet looking. Also in first person, because the camera is mounted onto the face of the character, you'll be able to see not only first person shadows, but you'll be able to see your legs as you're walking along the ground. And we can also see him dive forward like in Black Ops 2 that he had talked about in last week's post. Very cool. There's dolphin diving in Unturned 4.0 now. It's going to be very sweet to see that polished further. And also imagine if you're getting shot at and you like dolphin dive behind a tree. I mean, that's going to be pretty sweet. There are going to be a lot of intense moments with these new animations in Unturned 4.0. Now that was the first video that we got to see and that did cover most of the stuff in this week's post. But we do have an additional video that's dedicated to showing what it looks and sounds like to get shot at in Unturned 4.0. Very cool. Some things to take note of are obviously the bullet whizzes that you can hear when you almost get hit by a bullet. You can hear them crack as they go by. Also in Unturned 4.0, you can actually see the physical bullet trails in multiplayer, unlike Unturned 3.0, where it's kind of an illusion. It just kind of shoots a ray out of the position of the gun, and it's not actually the true location of the bullets. In Unturned 4.0, if you do see a bullet flying at you, you should get out of the way because... If, if you are intersecting with it, you will get hit. Also, uh, speaking of getting hit, in Unturned 4.0, you actually flinch. Your character will flinch when you get hit, proportional to the damage that you receive, and your character flinches in the direction that you are shot. Uh, as you can see here, Nelson gets shot in the face, and, you know, his head goes back. Obviously, you would die if that was uh, in Unturned 4.0, but he's got God Mode on to uh, show you that. When he flips around, he gets shot in the back, and you'll notice that he flinches... Um, you know, because he was shot in the back. It's overall super cool looking. Also keep in mind the first person idea of having the camera mounted to your face. In first person, when you do get hit, you will actually see your hands move if you get shot in the hand. So uh, overall, really, really cool looking. 
A minor thing to take note of, when Nelson gets hit, we do have damage indicators now, indicating what direction you were shot from. Pretty cool looking, and it's also super minimalistic. It's just a nice little red streak that displays where the bullets are coming from. Very cool looking. And that does pretty much wrap up everything in blog post number two. Nelson says that multiplayer combat is functional at the moment, but there's still a ways to go. For example, we need more walking animations, respawning, spectating, ragdolls, all that stuff. Nelson says that one big aim right now is to get the inventory properly up and running, and he's excited to show you some of the improvements he has in mind there soon. So perhaps in the future, we will be getting a blog post in regards to all the improvements in the inventory system. Overall, super exciting. There is a lot of stuff that we got to see this week, and same with last week. It seems like we're getting a lot of information, and uh, you know, you definitely can't complain. Now for those of you interested in more technical stuff, I will link the entire blog post in the description down below if you'd like to view it in its entirety. As of now, what are your guys' thoughts on everything that you've seen today? What are some improvements you'd like to make? What are your suggestions in regards to additions? Put them in the comment section down below. Nelson is all ears. I think literally my only suggestion is that the bullets should move faster. That's it. Everything is looking amazing. I am super excited to see more of Unturned 4.0 in the future and cover it for you guys. As of now, that was everything in Unturned 4.0 dev blog number two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that shit because me like big boom is out.